So in this video we're going to see about the hydraulic circuit and its operation for a mooring winch which is found on the aft side of our side of the ship. So here is the simple hydraulic circuit which we use for the mooring winches either aft side or forward side of the ship and the components are mentioned over here these are very simple and uh, let's start with the hydraulic oil tank which is usually uh, located in the safest location or closed location where uh, within the forecastle in the bosun store or uh, within the steering gear compartment and the tank has heating coils just to maintain the temperature of oil during cold climates and you have a high level and low level alarms and with a level gauge which is not shown here and apart from that you will be having a filling connection and vent at these locations which I have not shown here and the pump takes suction from this tank through a strainer or a magnetic filter depending on the application and this pump is unidirectional constant flow pump and the pump discharge which is at higher pressure which I have indicated with this red color is the high pressure side of the system and you have an accumulator as we all know the accumulator reduces the pressure pulsations on the discharge line and the accumulator is spring loaded as you can see it can also be gas charged but usually we will have spring loaded and the spring thickness and resistance or the tension determines the accumulator pressure and the hydraulic oil flows inside a heat exchanger or usually a cooler which is cooled by seawater and this seawater inlet, in inlet connection is usually from the fire pump or the fire and GS pump you need not have a separate seawater uh, pump for this because this is uh, a temporary application you're not going to use this mooring winch forever so it's not a continuous operation so from the cooler the high pressure oil goes to the main control valve this is the main control valve and from the control valve it goes to the hydraulic motor and it, this motor can rotate in two directions one is forward and one is reverse and then it the exhaust or the low pressure oil that is the high pressure oil after doing work becomes low pressure and then passes through this control valve and go back to the tank so now you have two important components one is the bypass valve and one is the relief valve as we all know the relief valve is just to prevent the excess pressure in the system on the discharge side and the bypass valve is basically the flow control valve so now the bypass valve is used for either low or high speed operation so uh, let's now see how the system works now I'm gonna put it in high speed operation so the signal from here goes and operates this solenoid which means it's a spring loaded two position two port solenoid operated spring loaded control valve this is what the terminology is so when I put it in high speed operation the signal de-energizes the solenoid and thus this area there is the arrow shifts to this place and thus the ports are blocked there is no more oil flow through this thus the bypass action is stopped thus the full flow of oil flows directly to the control valve achieving a very high speed at the winch drum so if I'm going to put the lever to low speed the signal from here again goes through this and operates the solenoid valve which means the arrow is going to shift this position in this place and the arrow I mean the path allows some high pressure oil to bypass and go to the return line then the amount of oil flowing to the hydraulic motor reduces and thus achieves a low speed operation and let's now see about 
the forward and reverse operation now as it is indicated here the lever is in neutral position or stop position and here whenever the pump runs it goes inside the cooler and enters the flow control valve and goes to the return line here so the oil does not go to the hydraulic motor at all so let's now see I want to uh, put this in forward operation I move the lever to forward side thus the signal from here goes to this solenoid valve and then shifts this to here so the oil flow starts to flow this side and then rotates the hydraulic motor and thus the return again is connected back through this arrow connected back to the return line and goes to the tank now when I bring again it to neutral the arrows which were here shifts back and blocks the hydraulic oil flow to the hydraulic motor when I put it in reverse direction the high pressure oil this control position goes here and the high pressure oil goes here it's cross so this grows here and rotates the motor in opposite direction and the return comes back again through this arrow comes back here and then goes to the tank so this is how the mooring winches operate on high and low speed and forward and reverse directions so this is the basic of hydraulic oil uh, system for the mooring winches